Well, I was going to do individual videos, but I said, screw it. <laughs> All at once. Uh, this is the lot that we got the other day that I had to wash because it was full of ick. Uh, and these are the sets that I built. Six sets altogether. Um, so let's just uh, go from left to right. We have the 1968 Unnamed, which it's hit and miss for me, but <laughs> it's a good set and everything's above that. Then we have the 6678 Pneumatic Crane. That's, I never owned a set before. I didn't have too much town back in the 80s, but uh, a cute little set. I finally figured out what those two hinge plates were for and uh, this guy here. So I didn't even think it would be in like a town set from the 80s. <laughs> So, uh, lesson learned. Uh, Santa 1555, uh, very basic build. I've seen him before. Uh, I don't know if I've ever owned him before, probably, but I have lots of those pieces uh, with the face on it. But uh, cute, put him together. Uh, 6881, I have lots of. Um, but, of course, I, I ran out of... The, the, the lot did not come with a 2 by 9 hinge plate which is very disappointing for me. Uh, then we have Bianca's. Uh, yeah, Bianca's lamb and stroller or Lisa's lamb pram. I guess it came in two different sets or two different names for the same set. Four pieces. If you take the tears off, six pieces. <laughs> if you take the wheels off the carriage. It's cute. Oh my goodness. I love Fabulin. And then we have Bernard Bear's lorry. Uh, set number 329. So Bianca's set is 3602 and Bernard's lorry is uh, 329. Uh, I talked about that. Uh, so overall, one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, all of Santa was in there. Most of those uh, pieces were in it. I was missing the two gray uh, space guns and the two black space guns, but all the other parts were there, uh, except for the helmet, uh, the hard hat uh, for the minifig. Uh, this guy I mentioned, missing a few pieces, that was all there. This was, was that? oh yeah, missing the door on this side. <laughs> that wasn't all there. Uh, and that guy was mostly all there, uh, a few pieces missing. And then you have these pieces here, uh, which are the cool pieces out of uh, red, white, black, yellow, uh, gray, blue, and miscellaneous pieces over there. <clears throat> and so there's nothing. Uh, those are all basic brick slopes and plates. There's nothing fancy. There's no one uh, modified plates or anything else in any of those bins now, for the most part. Nothing to do with space. All the spacey pieces are already out here. This isn't spacey pieces, but they're there. That's a spacey piece. That's a spacey piece. These can be mostly spacey pieces, uh, these guys. So so you wonder, because 99.9% .9 of this was all complete, <laughs> right? And then you have these miscellaneous odds and sods that have nothing to do with anything at all. And you say, this is my best guess. Because, you know, I always like pontificating about this kind of stuff, ruminating, uh, hypothesizing. Uh, what probably happened is this was a lot uh, for kids that are, well, were kids and now probably people around my age, maybe slightly younger. Because I, I would not, I was not interested at all in Fabuland. So maybe a, a half a decade to a decade younger than me. Um, because these sets would have come out in the 80s, mid 80s, actually. There's no early 80s sets here. Uh, I mean, th that's an early 80s set. I think that's 1980. And these guys are 1979, 1980. You would have got these as a little kid. Those weren't around when I was a little kid. And then that one, and then got these guys. Um, <clears throat> so I would imagine they had a 6971. Um, and um, the older kid, maybe, maybe there's two kids in the family. And the older kid took the classic space with him overall and unfortunately left a few pieces in the box. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> like, I can't, I honestly can't, I cannot think of any other thing that may have happened here. I mean, there's the, the, the two, uh, point two minifigs here. Um, so yeah, I, 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 I like thinking about this, how, how that was mostly complete and these guys aren't even close to complete. Um, and so I think about stuff like that. But anyway, the rest of the stuff, as I say, is basic brick. Uh, this guy, there's a little bit of oddities. So I'm thinking they had one of those basic sets that we used to get, like two, four, six, eight, because there are six of these tires. 
60, 60 wheel sets, two by two brick with uh, wheels on it in there. So it could have been like a, like two, four, six, eight, like a seven, two, two. I don't know. One of those, one of those big boxes that just came with a lot of basic brick. And then you basically built whatever you wanted. There was no instructions. It's like for pictures on the box. Um, so that was interesting. Other than that, there's some relatively older type windows, which disappeared after a while. Um, I'm not sure if they lasted to the 80s, um, but they also had the newer type windows. Uh, so, you know, and this guy can be brought out here too, because there's one of those. And I think that's what makes me think this was a basic set. There was a basic set in there. And then you got like all the pieces that come in the basic set, including the 10 by 20 base plate, which was ubiquitous in one of those basic sets when they got the bigger boxes. Um, and then some relatively new sets. And I think that was just from a completely different lot that got mixed in. So uh, I'm going to wrap this up. This was a worthy lot. Yes, there was some elbow grease to clean up the bricks. I am not going to complain about that at all for what I have. Uh, out of all these sets, I've actually built two before I got this lot. Of course, I own that one. Of course, I own that one. All the rest of these are brand new to me building and owning. I never have any Fabuland. I def definitely didn't buy any off the shelf. I have a few figs of Fabuland. I don't even know which ones I have. I should actually go look at that. That one, I didn't have a lot of town. Uh, I didn't buy a lot of town off this off the store shelves. I'm sure I have lots of town now from all my collecting over the years of used lots, but uh, never never had that one before. And Santa, I probably had, but I never built. I got them in used lots. I never bought them in the poly bag. Uh, and as I say, all this stuff will just be sorted into the collection. So in the end, for $40 and, you know, washing Lego bricks in my kitchen sink, which I do actually, I do not mind doing it. I find it's nice and relaxing to clean Lego bricks. Uh, I have a pretty big um, lot that I have to go through now. Actually, it's one of the biggest lots that's ever come into this house directly. <laughs> <laughs> this house, my my older place I had, I, I, I filled up the back of my pickup truck once, but um, uh, I was going to do a different uh, video about that, so I'll talk about that in a different video. But I have a big, big bag of Lego to wash and sort into my collection, and that's thanks to a very good and dear friend uh, who needed some monorail track. So basically, I exchanged monorail track for Lego. <laughs> so Lego exchange for Lego. I have no problem with that whatsoever. As I've always said, I have tons of monorail track. I was very fortuitous, fortunate, whatever you want to say, lucky, uh, right place, right time, whatever you want to say. I happen to acquire lots of monorail. Not the biggest collection, I think, for, for what I understand. My friend Davey e. has the biggest collection of monorail out of anybody I know. But um, I have a relatively large amount of monorail, and I don't want to part with it, quote-unquote, easily. But when a friend calls me up and says, I have a, a layout that I want to complete for a show for either Brickworld or brick, uh, Bricks in the Six or whatever... And do you happen to have a few spare pieces of monorail? Absolutely, here you go, keep them. Especially since they swapped them. Well, not for this, but what I'm going to show you in the bag. And it's just like, my goodness, that's a lot of Lego. But uh, that'll be a different video. So uh, that's it. A nice quick update. A nice way to wrap up a wonderful lot. Uh, again, zero complaints. A lot of happiness. A lot of, as I say, the, the bricks themselves are very, very well taken care of, except for the ink that was on them. So, you know, I, I honestly, I, it's been a long time since I got a used lot from the early 80s that is in this good in condition. Um, the pieces that, look at the glossiness and, and, and just, just awesome. I mean, it's like they just came out of the box, <laughs> except for, again, the ink that was all over everything. Um, Elbow grease, a little bit of sweat, and a lot of effort, and look what I got. And so you you, you have to, I, I said it in the last video or a couple of videos ago, you have to make a determination at the time when you find a used lot that appears to be really bad. I've had lots that look fantastically awesome, and I get them home, and they're not. That's happened to me a few times or they're in a bag or whatever, and, and, and you say, oh, that's going to be spectacularly awesome. 
and you get home and you realize that they look like that somebody took sandpaper to everything. That's happened to me before. Relatively few times, but that's happened to me before. Uh, and then I got this one where the bags, the, the, the ink was coming off in the bags, and I even mentioned it to the, the salesperson at uh, Value Village. She goes, that's the way it came. You know, we, we broke it up across six or seven bags, but, uh, you know, the ink was there, and uh, therefore there's a discount on the bag. So I actually got the, the, the Value Village had them out of discount because usually they're $9.99 or $12.99 a bag. These were $6.99 and $7.99 a bag. Um, so these bags were already discounted. <laughs> And then I got my old age <laughs> discount on top of that. Yes, I'm getting the old age discount. Uh, so for $40, I think this is a fantastic, fantastic lot. So anyway, I said that a thousand times already. Uh, <laughs> so I'm not going to bore with you. It's bore you saying it again. Um, you guys all stay safe. Take care. Uh, I'm pretty good. Uh, life is grand. Uh, kids fine. Wife's fine. House is okay. Uh, spring's coming up. We cleaned the garage last weekend. We're going to finish cleaning it this weekend, put everything back to where it's supposed to go. And then I'm going to be able to put her out in the wood shop. So that's another thing I get to look forward to now. Um, you guys take care of yourselves, treat yourselves nicely. Let yourself up off the carpet. There's a whole story about that. Um, Stuff that's happened in the past, uh, leave it in the past if it was bad and just make sure that you learned from that and don't do that again and forgive yourself. That's that's rule number one. Forgive yourself for stuff that, that you're not going to do again, but had happened or you have done. Uh, something has taken me a long time to learn and um, I'm slowly getting there. So I'm not perfect either, but... Uh, just remember how awesome you are. You guys all stay safe, take care, and I will talk to you soon.